Hey guys, Tom with Smoker Builder. Um, just wanted to give you guys a little video today. A lot of people, we hear people say it's so hard to build a UD, UDS. I can't do it. You can do it. I promise it's easy. It's a few simple tools. Um, so let's kind of get started here. You're going to need a pair of gloves. Oh, wait, stop. Hey. Safety glasses. <laughs> now, that's, that's for the YouTube police. So a lot of people wear glasses like I do. My glasses happen to be ANSI approved safety glasses. They're safety lenses, safety frames. If they're approved, they'll say on the inside. Show me. I'm looking for where these say. <laughs> they may not be approved. You'll, you'll find a... Uh, Show you what they know. Uh, like a Z87. Yeah. And those are safety glasses. Anyways, you got your glasses, got your gloves, and you got the, the clean gloves. Yeah. Assembly keeps the oil off the metal once you do your final wipe down. Or you're like our good buddy, the czar. And he just doesn't like dirty fingers <laughs> of, of all things. He's the plumber. Yeah. So you got your gloves for staying clean, your gloves to keep your fingers safe. Got your soda or your beer. Yeah, we prefer beer, but since this is a kid friendly video, we got, well, yeah, soda, soda. <laughs> <laughs> gotta keep it gotta keep it legit so you're gonna you've you've already found a drum you've bought parts you need to mark your drum so you're gonna have a tape measure mm -hmm. prefer uh, your standard of measurement whether it's metric or imperial um, we're gonna talk about our numbers uh, so you got your tape measure you better get two markers one is not enough. No, you, you never have enough. You can see this one, Frank might have used that for a center punch. <laughs> you, you want a pretty decent marker. Um, you're gonna have people leave the cap off. If you've got a helper, your helper will put it in their pocket and you won't, you'll look all over. So a couple markers, you got a, a pipe wrap. So, if you want to, you need to measure between your air inlets, your grate holes, just wrap that right around. It'll give you your measurements. You don't, you don't have to have that. You can, uh, most people have a wife or a girlfriend or a mom that has done sewing in the past. Go steal their tape measure. It's a flexible fabric tape measure, does the same thing. Uh, probably should give it back when you're done and try to keep it clean. Uh, so there's the pipe wrap. Or be in denial. Yeah, just complete and total <laughs> deny it ever happened. Uh, so I got another tape measure. So you're going to mark it out. Um, go to the website. Uh, sometime down the road, we're going to have a template listed on the site for sale. Um, it'll help you mark all your holes. Um, you just, you just lay it out. Um, there is no hard and fast rule. There's The template is what we use. You can use three bolts. You can use four bolts. Um, whatever you want. Just, uh, just look at the general consensus of what everybody does. About seven inches to the grate, eight inches to the thermometer. Your air intakes, inch or two up from the bottom, you're good to go. Uh, so once you get it marked out, you're going to want to drill some holes. After you mark, use a handy dandy center punch, not the Sharpie. Let me get a better shot of that it's right a, there. It's blurring on me. So you got a nice center punch. Any any fashion will work. Get you a little pecker hammer and peck, peck, peck. And make, <laughs> make a nice little dent for your drill bit so your drill bit will stay centered where you want it. That's probably the only thing you need the hammer for unless you've got a bad helper. You got a bad helper. Whack him. Whack him. <laughs> He'll have his gloves on. He'll be safe. Uh, and his safety so, glasses. And his safety glasses. So <laughs> you've made your little dent. What's the purpose of the dent? The dent keeps the drill bit. So let's use my let's use my soda. Okay. So when you go to drill on a round surface, the, if you're not straight, it'll go that way. It'll go down. It'll go sideways. You make a little dent. And I'm not going to poke a hole in my can. Make a little dent, and that gives that drill bit 
you get reasonably close, it gives it a place to start. Mm -hmm. Keeps it from walking, keeps your hole where you want it. So I would say drill all your holes with this quarter inch bit. Even, First. Even the big ones. Mm. Drill them all. And that's just a standard, you know, jobber, regular old drill bit. Quarter inch. Quarter inch. High yep. speed steel. Mm -hmm. um, we're we're going to talk about that in just a minute. You got some big holes to drill. So you can, most people have seen these style bits. Get your average hole saw. You got a mandrel. You can go to the hardware store and buy just these two pieces. In an economy version, just screw that thing on. Line it up and lock it in. Like I said, you can get just these two pieces or three for the different size holes you're going to drill. We've got a big fancy set, um, but we don't use it. <laughs> we, we have a fancier we, set. We have a, a special, special set. So we went down to the electric supply house. These are this type of bits electricians use to drill your breaker panels, uh, various things. Um, they're the same thing. They're a hole saw, nothing real super special. They're just expensive. They're expensive and they're, and precise. they're carbide. They're very precise. Um, I got, of course, I get one out, still has the plastic on it. There's your bit. The little spring will eject the piece of metal right out of the, it doesn't get stuck like it does in the, the, the less expensive bits. Um, we, we recommend you drill a hole with this bit first because a lot of guys they set that thing down, they're pushing all crazy hard, and it drops through, the bit catches, breaks off the bit, and leaves a big skid mark across the side of your barrel. So if you drill the hole first, you can just ease into it, drill a nice, beautiful hole. Safety first, we put the thing back on so some other poor guy can have to try to get it off. <laughs> With any luck, that'll be the czar. <laughs> Yeah, so, he throws the case away, though. He does. He threw the whole thing in the trash. Just the case, not the bits. So that's your drill bits there. You've got multiple sizes of holes. Um, you're going to drill a small hole for your thermometer. If you choose to use a grommet, you're going to drill the same size hole as the thermometer. Um, those holes are going to be a little bit sharp. Even, even these holes will be just have a little sharp on them. So once you're all done, if you have, you don't have to have it, this is preferred method, method. Uh, nice step bit. Um, go down to your local Harbor Freight, they're a couple bucks. Uh, you can just give it a little bump on each side, just run it in. It'll just knock the burr off the edge, knock the sharp off, you'll be, you'll be good to go. The, the big holes, your smokestack and air intake holes, this is definitely not big enough. And you're probably, I'm sure somebody makes one up to two inch but <laughs> it's expensive it's probably real <laughs> expensive um, so for the big holes you got the handy dandy old-fashioned file just just knock the sharps off um, where we talk about the czar a lot the last time we built drums he was uh, he was in a bit of a hurry he was drilling his holes with great aggression <laughs> and uh, don't don't press super hard guys Drill slow, firm pressure. Um, if you drill fast and hard, you'll leave a big old nasty pigtail sticking out on the inside of the drum. Derek was putting bolts on and he stuck his hand in and when he came back out, Cut he, his hand. he just barely touched his hand and it sliced him open like a laser blade. Um, we, had to, we had to do good old fashioned smoker builder surgery on him. <laughs> we fixed him up. <laughs> told him to the czar's still alive he's yeah, okay yeah he is he uh he cried a lot that day but uh we told him just to suck it up and move on <laughs> <laughs> he cut his own hand <laughs> so in all these holes we're drilling we like to use a cordless drill uh, we're pretty fond of the red tools the uh, they hold up real nice this one this poor drill has been around for i'm gonna say four or five years yeah since they uh, came out with brushless Yep, it's, uh, it's fell off the table, it's fell off the forklift. Been used for many things it should not have been used for. 
but set it set it on the setting for one. If you have a choice, drill slow. Um, you're not uh, metal's not like butter; it doesn't melt easy. Um, you will probably melt a bit if you drill super super fast. Mm -hmm. um, so there's your drill, the bits. If you've got a spot that's really terrible, you can always get like Tim the Toolman Taylor Industrial and go with a with a great big nasty flap disc and uh, and put it in one of these fantastic grinders. Yeah, man. Smooth it down. Be careful. These uh, this style bits when are flap disc when they're new. They are going to take off a serious amount of metal. You'll you'll end up with a thin spot in your drum. But uh, so there's that. And uh, at that point, you uh, you can put all that stuff away. You've you've test fit all your parts. You made sure your holes all lined up. You've painted it. And uh, the last thing, you know, the the, the super easy part is uh, you're all painted up. Now. You probably don't have to have the crescent wrench, but it's handy. Ratchet and a socket, a wrench, a gear wrench is kind of nice. This one works. That's that's, that's even pretty better. odd. Um, <laughs> Rare. <laughs> I've, I've got I've got a high dollar set in my toolbox, and and this end is locked up on them. Um, they weren't as high quality as I thought. Yeah. Uh, and then you got the good old good old screwdriver seven seven dollar set from Harbor Freight. Um, yeah, that specific one's a number three Phillips. And uh, but yeah, number two, you will be prone to strip out the screw heads. Uh, only Phillips, if you buy our kit, our bolt pack, the only Phillips you're going to have on the whole thing is the bolts that hold the cooking grate up. We, may, we use a different bolt for a reason, uh, so you can identify which bolts go where. So you ratchet your ratchet wrench and a screwdriver. You're probably gonna use a tube of high, high temp RTV silicone. Uh, any kind of food grade silicone works great. Um, have fun and be careful putting it together so you don't scratch that fancy paint job. Yeah. <laughs> um, not, all, not all drums are truly ugly. Some of them, some of them look pretty snazzy. And uh, so stay tuned. We will have more videos to come.